Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to do like a candy red eyeshadow look. Someone did actually request for a red eyeshadow look from me. Now, surprisingly, <laughs> with the amount of palettes that I've got, I don't have many reds. And I have looked for my collection. So far I found a red in the Toasted Marshmallow palette by Our Heart Revolution. This is the shade Pops. And there is a shade in the Beauty Bay Berries palette, the 42 pan in the shade First, I do have a red from that, and there was a red from the I Heart Revolution Rainbow, big rainbow palette. And I also found a red from the Tasty Watermelon. The most pigmented one that I've got so far was the Tasty Marshmallow. And also, I have found finding a true red quite difficult because some of the reds that I've got in my palettes lean pink or orange, coral, like the Blood palette from My Heart Revolution, the Blood shade in that is definitely pink it's not true red i'm also going to try do a base as well by using a lipstick so i'm going into my nyx lipstick uh, this is in the shade amsterdam so i'm going to see if that by the way i've got pink i've been painting and this won't come off <laughs> yeah let's try something different um and let's hope it doesn't go too pink so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video just gonna sit down and play with some makeup if that's your kind of thing then make sure you carry on watching hit subscribe join my patreon if you like i'll leave that down below and yeah without further ado let's go my hair back. I don't know what it is but I just find red eyeshadow quite hard to work with. But I am going to start off with the eyes just in case. It's going to look crazy at first because I haven't got a base makeup on so it's going to look a bit crazy. I'm going to go with my Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. This is in shade number one. But yeah I'd love to know what is your favourite red palette. I actually don't have a red dedicated palette. I did used to have the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar but I did declutter that reason being i hardly use it it's just a red is something that i've never really used but i do want to incorporate it now because it's such a cool color it looks so nice and empowering especially around christmas time as well i just want to get into more reds so yeah i'm going to start off with this lipstick now this is the nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade amsterdam i have seen some people on tiktok using lipsticks lip creams it's like a base before doing a smoky eye or something or red eyeshadow so hopefully this can work i have tried it off camera before it did work but i don't know i'm still a bit iffy about it sometimes it goes really patchy so i'm going to focus this on the lash line but also on the outer edge and really i should work with this i'm just going to pack that on now, out already, this is gonna look pink, not red, so I don't know how this is gonna go on. But I just wanted to base down first, so hopefully when I use that red from the Toasted Marshmallow palette, it can be more pigmented. I never normally do this. I never think to go into a lip, <laughs> lip product for the eyes, just as a base. I just never thought of doing it, but I've seen so many people on TikTok doing it so I thought I'll give it a go. I'm gonna go into the Toasty Marshmallow palette by I Heart Revolution. This is in their tin packaging. They do have other tin packaging but I only have this one. So there's a shade called Pops which is this candy red I'd say. So I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna use the same brush. This is just a GWA brush and we're gonna pop it on. Okay so it's looking more red than the NYX one, so that is good. The next shade. I have been asking my patron as well, like how do how do I do red eyeshadow? It's turning out pink, and some of them said use a smaller brush. I'm prepared. I've got this smaller brush here. It has got red on it already because I've just been practicing on a couple of days, and I still haven't mastered it. Now I'm gonna go in a smaller brush, and I'm just gonna pat it for now just round the out edges and I'm still figuring out what kind of shape to do because I literally don't know. Um, and I'm, whatever's left on the brush I'm just gonna go over a bit more. I feel like it is turning a bit more pink. 
I feel like this is gonna look very similar to that blood palette that I just used <laughs> with the I Heart Revolution. Um, Okay, I'm gonna go into the berries now and there is a light shade I want to put in the inner corner. I'm thinking of going into cloud. I just want something highlighted here. Just like that. I'm hoping this looks quite candy-like. Candy red. And then I'm gonna go back into I was gonna say this shade, I don't want. I'm gonna go back into that I Heart Revolution palette, the pop shade, because I still want that red, very red. Okay, I wanna add some depth now, so I'm gonna go in with my black eyeliner pencil, this is Relove. So I'm gonna put this in the waterline. And also, I hate doing this bit, but I'm also gonna put it in the, in the line, I don't know what it's called, like above the top waterline. This always makes me feel squeamish. But I want it quite defined there. And then I'm gonna put a bit just on top of the waterline, just a bit. Because I feel like with red, I always want some depth when using red. And I'm going to use the shade, I'm going to mix two shades together. I'm going to mix Dipping and Brazier. Brazier. <laughs> Buff that liner out. And I'm gonna go with my Game of Thrones eyeliner pen and just tap over. I am gonna go in the Lord Farquhar palette now. There is a shade called Kingdom, I think it is. It's just a red. And I'm gonna like put this red on top, just on top of the lid. See if that does anything. Not sure if it does, but <laughs> there we go. Okay, so moving on to our base now, I'm gonna use the, I'm just trying to use the last bit of this. This is the I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart Glow Serum. Some drops in there. I have already done my brows. I did them off camera. I did use the Honey Bear Brow Jam by I Heart Revolution. Then I went into the Lottie London Art Arrival Volume Powder in the shade Medium Brown and then the NYX Micro Brow Pencil shade Taupe. So I should have wet my sponge. I forgot to do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so that did not film, which was really annoying, but I'm gonna show you what I used. I used the NYX Lip Liner shade Brown. Then I went into the Jeffree Star Velvet Trip Lipstick shade Dominatrix. Then I use this I Heart Revolution Metallic Dragon Lips, it's so old, in the shade Faroe Flames. This is so dramatic, I don't know. I think I need something a bit lighter on the lip. Okay, I've gone with a different lipstick. I'm gonna use the Golden Rose Soft and Matte Creamy Lip Colour in the shade 201. I need something a bit warmer. Okay, I'm not liking, I don't know if I like this with this eye colour. I think it's too much. Be right back, I'm having issues. Seriously, choosing a lip colour is the most difficult thing <laughs> in my makeup. I'm thinking of going into a gold. I think that's the answer. Okay, let's try find a gold. So I've got this gold here. This is the I Heart Revolution Metallic Dragon Lips again in the shade Legend. Um, this is crazy. Oh wow. Why can I not pick a, de a decent lipstick? I don't know how many times I'm gonna be doing this. NYX Soft Matte Lip Shade Amsterdam. Hmm. 
Now having this lip against the eye, I just feel like the eye shadow is looking pink. Why is it that red eye shadow turns pink? Why can't it just be this? Please, can someone tell me? I might put a bit of this pop shade on the lip, just so it's matching a bit. I feel like this video has been so long. Um, I'm gonna put some lashes on now, if I can find them. I dropped one, right back. So guys, here's my finished attempt on candy red eyeshadow. What were you thinking? I actually really like it. I just wish it was more red. But yeah, I just wanted to do a look as someone did ask me to do a red eyeshadow look. Here's my attempt. <laughs> I still think it's still pink and I still think it looks slightly like the one I did with the blood palette. I don't know. I do prefer this lip though. I thought the lip before was a bit too dramatic, especially when we're already bold on the top. So I thought just to make it monochromatic to balance it out. I do think this lip is good to work as the eye base. I feel like the coverage is not amazing. So you do have to double on it, but yeah, it still looks nice. I still think this is a bit redder than that. Um, but I think the problem with me is I over blend. <laughs> Um, some people have said pack it on and then use a smaller brush. I don't know what it is. I end up using a bigger brush. Um, I think it's because I have so much space here that if I just use a smaller brush, I just have a massive gap between that part of the colour to my brow. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out my eye shape. I have a feeling my eye shape is slightly deep set, not totally, but I my brow bone basically sticks out so I'm trying to figure out ways hopefully you guys can give me tips on how I could blend my eyeshadow better because I literally need to utilize the space I've got going on but yeah here we go yeah, I'm gonna leave it on all day I'm gonna go out in it so people can have a scare I can go out like this with the eyeshadow but I don't know if I dare to do the lip as well I don't know I just feel like the lip is very much um for me, anyway, I think I might change the lip to something more muted. But yeah, it was nice to go in some palettes, especially that Toasty Marshmallow palette, because this is a palette that I hardly go into, um, especially this pop shade. I rarely go into this, like, I rarely go into reds. I don't know why. I hardly use this palette. It was nice to go into the Lord Farquhar again, and I did do on my first attempt with the berries, but I feel like the berries palette from the Beauty Bay leans more pink, the red in that, which makes sense because it is a berry palette. But yeah, I'd love to know what is your favourite red eyeshadow palette. Um, I think it is probably a colour I need to delve into a bit more. But yeah, that's my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments what else videos you'd like to see from me, like what colours, what kind of eyeshadow looks. I have got a couple in mind coming up. I'm thinking wintry stuff. Hmm. Love the berry tones and the burgundy and the mahogany shades. Mahogany shades, I never usually say that. But yeah. but yeah, if you did like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, show helps my channel out. And of course, if you want to see more makeup content from me, then hit the subscribe button down below. If you want to see behind the scenes of what I'm up to, what palettes I'm going to use next, what kind of colours, I always mention it on my Patreon. So if you want to join that, I'll leave that down below too. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now it's how much this, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.